One of the first things I noticed when playing Fallout 4 was the narrow field of view. I found it constraining and even dangerous for my character. The reason being, I like to play in first person mode, and given the lack of an overlay or mini-map on the screen to show you the location of enemies, it was quite difficult when you got turned around to find exactly what was shooting at you. So I found a way to enhance the field of view. Unfortunately, there isn't a menu setting for this for whatever reason, and so you have to go into the game's files to fix it. Thankfully, it's a uniform fix for all of three different files that require editing, and so it's not that difficult. As you'll see, there's also a program you can use if you're not comfortable editing those files. But, at any rate, some background on this problem. The reason I suspect that the field of view is so narrow is in part, perhaps, console power. But I'd rather not get into that argument. I think another reason is, screens in the living room, seen from some distance, don't need the same wide angle that you might want on a computer desk, which is a much closer screen to the user. I think just the dynamics of that distance are probably a major culprit for the discomfort that PC gamers feel compared to console gamers when it comes to the field of view. Whatever the case, let's get started on the description of the files you have to change in order to fix the problem. Two of the three files can be found in the My Games section of Windows. I'll include a link to that directory in the description of this video. Under the display section of each of those two files, you're going to have to add two lines that simply aren't there to begin with. I'll also include those lines. And in those elements that you add, you can pick a custom field of view. I believe by default it's around 70 or 80. I recommend 100. I think that's the sweet spot. Any higher than that, and I think it starts to make the game look a little distorted. A little less than that, and you're simply not seeing enough. So, in each of those three files, add those two lines. Play around with it to feel what's best for you. The other directory is actually in your Steam Apps folder, and I'll include that also in the description. But the name of the game is the same. You have to add those two lines under the Display section of the Fallout 4 Prefs file in the Steam directory. Now, just to give an example of the fixed version, this is with a 100 degree field of view. I like to play in first person mode, but as you can see, when you go out to third person, it's also a much wider field of view. Now, this makes things a lot safer. You see more of the enemies that are coming at you, and you just simply take in more of the game world. So overall, I'm quite a fan of the change. I would recommend it. It is going to be a little more taxing on your system, but really, I think it's a worthwhile trade-off just for the enhanced... Uh, field of view and just how much better it is on the system. Now if editing those text files is not for you, there is an app. I'll include a link to this in the description. It's a pretty good tool. Uh, it becomes highly recommended and it actually changes more than the field of view. The interface is fairly intuitive and you see a lot of options there. There's a graphical user interface. You can change the setting from bright to dark and vice versa. Um, you can change the mouse options and and other features of the game, so it is more feature rich than simply changing the field of view. So really when it comes down to it, if you prefer an app to do it for you, download this. If you'd rather just edit the files themselves, have at it. Either one should fix the problem, so best of luck in the Commonwealth Wasteland, and enjoy your enhanced viewing experience. Thanks for watching.